what's up guys my name is fucking styles and two here and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys a really cool glitch on black ops 4 on how to actually unlock any reactive camo for any signature weapon and also duplicate that reactive camo onto any gun in the game as you see here i'm playing with the gk5's reactive camo on my can it looks awesome and i definitely suggest you guys trying this glitch out before it does get patched now the founder to this glitch is sick buckle definitely go check him out his channel link will be down in the description below but for this glitch, make sure you do have at least one signature weapon that does have the Mastercraft camo unlocked on. And to start this entire glitch off, what you want to do is go ahead and go into multiplayer in Black Ops 4. Go ahead and hit on create a class. As soon as you do hit on create a class, choose any custom class you do want to do this glitch on. In this case, I'm going to be using custom class 1. But please keep note on which specific custom class you do use. But once you've chosen your class, what you want to do on that class is actually put in the gun that does have the Mastercraft camo unlocked on. So in this case, I'm going to be using the Sandstorm. But once you've done that, you want to go ahead and back out to create a class and get yourself any custom games lobby once you guys are in custom games go ahead and hit on create a class and go on the same specific class you guys were in in the previous lobby so in this case it's going to be custom class one for me and on that class what you want to do is put on the weapon that you do want to unlock the reactive camo on so in this case i'm going to be putting on the gk5 and just to show proof i do not have the gk5 unlocked i cannot put the variant on my class and i cannot get the reactive camo for it so once you've put that weapon down all you simply have to do is actually join your friend that is going to be in a multiplayer lobby once you've joined your friend's lobby all you simply have to do is hit on create a class and once you've hit create a class go ahead and go onto the class with the weapon that does have the mastercraft camo unlocked on hit personalize on the weapon and go ahead and hover over the mastercraft camo but do not select it yet as all you simply have to do is tell your friend to go into a custom game lobby and then once he's in a custom game lobby you can go ahead and select it and it should be on the weapon that you did put on in custom games so as you see here once i back out it is on my gk5 and as you see here the variant is on it but it's actually not unlocked now from here hit whatever button that brings up the class options on that class and go ahead and hit on copy and hover over the classes now at this point go ahead and tell your friend to bring party out of custom games and what should happen is it should create a ui stack as you see there and from here, once it does do that, you can go ahead and go onto your GK5 and select the reactive camo on it. And it should be able to transfer from custom games onto multiplayer. As you see here, it's on my sandstorm. And from here, go ahead and tell your friend to go into custom games. Go ahead and click on create a class, delete the weapon that you had in custom games, and go ahead and hit on class options and hit copy and hover over all the classes. From here, go ahead and tell your friend to bring party out of custom games and it should create the UI stack once again. And from there, go ahead and put on the weapon that you do want to have the reactive camo unlocked on. So in this case, it's going to be the GK5. And once I do put on the GK5, the reactive camo should be automatically on the weapon. And from here, all you simply have to do is actually complete the reactive camo challenge for that weapon. And my challenge was simply get a bloodthirsty with the weapon. And as you see here, I completed it and now the camo is actually on my weapon. And from now on, every game I do choose this class on, the reactive camo will be on the weapon. Unless as you either change the camo or change the weapon this will stay on your class forever and that is actually how to unlock any reactive camo for any signature weapon in the game but now i'm going to be showing you guys how to duplicate that reactive camo onto any weapon you do choose and it can be any gun in the game as you see here i'm playing with the hades with the same reactive camo i did unlock on the gk5 and how to do that is very simple all you need to do is join your friend in a multiplayer lobby once you have joined your friend, you want to go ahead and go into create a class and make two specific classes. The first class, you're going to put on a weapon that you do want to have the reactive camo transferred on to. So in this case, I'm going to be putting on the ICR. And the second class, you're going to be putting on a weapon that does have a Mastercraft camo unlocked on. So in this case, it's going to be the Sandstorm once again. And keep note which specific classes you guys are going to be using. So in this case, I'm going to be using custom class 1 as my weapon that I do want to have the reactive camo transferred onto, and custom class 2 that does have the weapon with the Mastercraft camo unlocked on. Once you've done that, go ahead and tell your friend to go into a custom game lobby. Hit on create a class and go onto the same specific class that you had the weapon with the Mastercraft camo on. So in this case, it's going to be custom class 2 and put on the weapon that you just unlocked the reactive camo on for. So in this case, it's going to be the GK5 for me. Once you've put on the weapon in custom games, you can go ahead and back out of custom games with your friend. And then once you guys are in a multiplayer lobby, go on to create a class and go on to the class with the gun that does have the Mastercraft camo unlocked on. Go ahead and hit on personalize and hover over the Mastercraft camo. Tell your friend to go into a custom game lobby and once he's in a custom game lobby, you can go ahead and equip the Mastercraft camo. Once you've equipped in the Mastercraft camo, it should be onto the weapon that you equipped it in custom games. As you see here, it's on my GK5 now. Hit whatever button that pulls up the class options and go ahead and hit copy. And from there, you want to go ahead and copy it to the same class in the multiplayer lobby with the gun that you want the reactive camo to be duplicated on. So for me, it's going to be custom class 1. And once you've copied it onto that class, you want to go ahead and hit whatever button that brings up the class options and go ahead and hit on copy 
and hover over any class. Tell your friend to bring the party out of custom games and from there it should bring up the UI stack once again and once the UI stack does appear, go ahead and go onto the weapon and hit on personalize and equip the reactive camo on it. And as soon as you do put on the reactive camo on the weapon, you can go ahead and back out of personalize and as you see here, it is on your weapon. I have duplicated it from my GKS that I have not even unlocked the variant for onto my ICR. Now if you do want to put that camel onto many different weapons, all you simply have to do is tell your friend to go into custom games, go onto the same class correlating to the one in your multiplayer lobby with the reactive camel on. Hit whatever button that brings up the class options, and from there go ahead and hit copy and hover over all the custom classes. Now from here go ahead and tell your friend to bring party out of custom games. Once he does bring party, it should bring up with the UI stack, and from here go ahead and change your weapon to any other weapon that you do want to have the reactive camel on. So in this case, I'm going to be putting it on the Hades, and as soon as I do put it on the Hades, as you see here, the reactive camel will be transferred onto my Hades. And from there, if you do want to change your weapon, that's all you simply have to do. You don't have to repeat all the other steps, that's all you have to do. But from there, you can go ahead and play with your active camo in-game. I know this glitch might take a little bit to do, but don't worry, this glitch is definitely worth it. It's a very cool glitch you guys should definitely try out, and it's very, very simple to follow through. But other than that, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Have a great day, guys, and yeah, for Kunst2002, signing out.